the values start to repeat once we get all the way around the Smith chart, which corresponds to half a wavelength. So all the way around is 0.5 lambda. What we're observing here on the Smith chart agrees with the impedance solution we calculated in transmission line notes 9 and shown again here on the right side of the screen. So going through positive, more higher and higher positive values, that's for the top first half of the Smith chart. Then we go to negative infinity abruptly and we keep going to smaller, smaller and smaller values. And then at half the wavelength, it repeats from what we had from above. Let's go through another example. Consider a transmission line terminated by a load of impedance ZO equals 25 plus J100 ohms. The transmission line's characteristic impedance is given, 50 ohms. The operating frequency is 300 megahertz. And we're going to assume free space between the two conductors. So it's already given here that lambda is one meter. What is Zn at a point D equal 0.18 meters from the load. 